Yeah, so speaking of the world, you've heard of Mizzy, yeah. the the prank stuff. What's your what's your take on him, the the young boy? Smart or stupid? I can't say neither smart nor stupid. <laughs> what I'll tell you, he's got a lot of balls. <laughs> he's got a lot of balls. I can't call it smart and I can't call it stupid. All I can say is he's got a lot of balls, and I tell you why. Social norm is social norm. Government law is government law. Social media is social media. If you've decided to record yourself going into people's houses for pranks, to get views, to make money on social media, not knowing how much money you're actually going to make, you have got a lot of balls. One would argue that is that is business 101. You've got to take the risk. I agree, but hear what I'm saying now. See, this thing doesn't go the way you want it to go. <laughs> no, 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 hear me out. See, this thing doesn't go the way you want it to go. You better have a business, bro. You better have some form of a something inheritance because your CRB and who you are, nobody's employing you. How are you going to survive? You'd be lucky if they give you even, uh, what's that? Job seekers allowance. <laughs> or the way you're moving. You basically say you're a renegade. And in a world where we're all socially constructed to do what we're sub told to do, for you to basically tell me that you want to go against Scotland Yard, you got a lot of balls, bro. Don't you think it's refreshing, though, in terms of, like, um, his overall message, like, with regards to kids now growing up, you know, you know, almost institutionalized to stay inside, to just be online, to not organically form relationships. You're seeing statistics come out with men or young boys not I having as much. Does that sticks. relate to the shit that he's doing? <laughs> if, if, if if you understand, if you understand, he's moving. He's, it's we outside. It's, he's a, it's we outside. Yeah, it's it's Meaning. going against the <laughs> it's going against the social what we call norms today. You know, he wants people to to organically. Interact again. Hey, he wants kids do I need to... to take some weed to be on the wave? This prick, this prick is on. Listen, I'm asking you the questions yet. Yeah. <laughs> ah, sorry, so, on. Get me up. So, Roll me a spliff. I'll smoke it. This guy's on some shit. <laughs> Let's go. go nah, so, and that's the thing. Do you, do you think that that's a load of crap then? It, it, I don't think it's a load of crap. But what you just said in relation to what my man's doing, hey, yo, I'm confused with the message here. You basically telling people to be free flowing and do what you want. This is purge, bruh. Reality is an illusion, bro. Bro, hey. Hey, what's all of this for? Bro, what's all of that, bro? Yo, what's all of that, bro? What's my boss? Hey, yo, watch your shot, bro. It's an illusion, bro. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. I got a run here. Grab that, grab that. Grab that, grab that, bro. Drop it, drop it, bro. Hey, what? Bro, outside. You ever watch the film Purge? Yeah. Everybody do what they want? I get why. Cozzy, there's a reason we have social order. We have social order so that our imaginations don't take us far further than what we're supposed to. So if your imagination is to... Oh, boy. <laughs> Government law will remind you that if you do that, you spend the rest of your life in prison, which then forces you to reduce your personal fetish desire. Calm down. <laughs> what you're talking about, don't relate, blood. And he's a dangerous man. I just played a dangerous game. <laughs> Last example. <laughs> Last example. I, 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 do you know what? What you just said there was very refreshing in the sense that you've actually explained it in a way where I haven't heard anybody else explain it, which is very good. Um, the last question I'll say, I'll ask is in regards to Mizzy. The last time he got arrested for going into somebody's house, it was orchestrated. And an investigation allegedly was not carried out before they re-arrested him. So they constructed that. He, the person that he went into the, the, the house, he knew. Can you see what just happened there? Though? You've got to the point now where people know you for the pranks. You did it for real. You Maybe somebody's woken you up to you're not bigger than society. I don't care what movement you've got. They're not all going to follow you. All of us are going to work to get jobs. Somebody's told him something and now he has to fake walk into somebody's house. No, but that's, that's, Cause... that's his message, which is... Even down to the people that are putting him on social media, even down to the police, 
these people are not doing their jobs properly in that sense. They're not doing their jobs properly. Because if he if he's orchestrated that, they've rearrested him basically on the on the pretense that he's gone into somebody's house, a stranger's house. But it's not a stranger. You're known for going into people's houses. You've been arrested several times for doing it. You've now done it as a prank. Why wouldn't they arrest you? They should. They will ban. G- give me the weed. Let me smoke this thing. This guy's crap. <laughs> They, I, I, what, what, again, if you look I'm at, asking, if you look I'm at, asking you the okay, question. sorry. If you look at this thing, if you look at this thing properly, cuz, <laughs> cuz, <laughs> let's not go, let's not lose ourselves here. Even if he did it as a prank five more times, you get to prison. Oh boy, you was doing it for real and you found it funny. And in actual fact, you was on national TV talking about racism and whatever else when you're running into people's house for broke. Cuz, wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong and right is right. This is government law. This is social order. You've gone against the grain. You are on your own. <laughs> this has to work. So now we're at a point to keep the buzz going. Let's do a fake one to make people think, duh, 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 duh. I get it, bro. And you've got to do more fake ones because nobody's going to employ you. <laughs> <laughs> so to wrap, it, to wrap it up on the busy one, yeah? Smart or stupid? I can't say I can't say smart, and I can't say to be. I will tell you why. I don't even know the boy, but I tell you why. Majority of people in the world don't do what they actually want to do. Which is that, if you've gone through the educational system, you don't think to yourself, "I really want to do this business." Only a minority, small percent, do business. The rest of us go to work. To take that leap of faith to go and do your own thing and choose to not do. In fact, what you've been told your whole life you should do. Mm. It's a set of balls. Mm. All right. Now, his balls are enormous. <laughs> because he didn't just decide, I'm, I'm going to do my own business. He decided, I'm going to get nicked as well. I'm going to perform criminal acts as pranks. There's no coming back, bro. You're going to, to come back, I can guarantee you, there's going to be a story. He checked into a mental home. <laughs> uh, he saw a psychiatrist. No, no, he, he didn't actually do it, though. He's done some form of whatever, and he's reformed himself to come back to the, the reality. That way he can present you get a job if things don't work out for him. I can guarantee you something like that will happen. Because the reality is, here, is if you did that with your sane mind, you've written yourself off. <laughs> this is what we tell. People want to say what they want to say on TV. But you have to be politically correct. Uh, have you? Mm-hmm. Is that mm-hmm. politically, politically correct? correct? Yeah. Because if you say what you want to say, the agency, the studio, maybe they won't call you. Come. <laughs> Some will argue politics is not correct. Hey. That's a that's a conversation for another day. Music. Oh, we're, we're not the powers. And this is true. Music. What 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 we're kind of what kind of music are you sector. into? What kind of music are you into? What kind of music? It depends on my mood. I, uh, sometimes I, it's rap, sometimes it's UK rap. I've been listening to more UK drill more now because of C1 and Huss. Well, Huss is not really drill, but yeah, my good brothers of mine.